Hi, my name is Kim Leonard and I'm a registered dietitian and I, my specialty is plant-based nutrition, which means that I teach kids and adults how to eat a plant-based diet or foods from the earth, such as fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts and seeds, and beans and lentils. And I'm coming to you from my home kitchen on behalf of Wakeman Town Farm, and the farm asked me to share a simple spring recipe. I have a recipe that's easy for kids of all ages to help make, and it only requires three simple ingredients that you probably already have in your house. So I'm gonna have my son, Jack, come over and help. Um, what you wanna start out with is a muffin tin, and then you're gonna put cupcake liners in it, and then you're gonna put granola. So he's got one of them. He already filled up some of them. He's gonna finish filling them up. And you can use any granola that you want. You just want it to just be um, an oat type granola. There is a granola recipe on Wisman Town Farms uh, website that you can use. Um, it does call for pumpkin seeds and almonds. So if you use that one, I would just leave those out because you just want it to be the, um, the oats. And then we need yogurt. And what I did was, this is a vanilla yogurt. And when I use, here, you can go ahead and start putting that in there. And when I use yogurt like this, the vanilla, I add a little bit of plain yogurt, mix it in with the vanilla yogurt because the vanilla yogurt has 13 grams of sugar per serving. And this one only has one gram per serving. So if you mix a little bit of this yogurt in with it, then it cuts down on the sugar a little bit. So what we're doing now is filling up the muffin tins with the yogurt. And it's about two to three spoonfuls, depending on how big your spoonfuls are. And so this can be eaten at breakfast or for a snack or for dessert. I think Jack had one of these the other day with his breakfast. So something that you can eat anytime during the day. And then we're going to top it with fruit. And I have strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and kiwi. And you can use any fruit that you like or have. And we're just going to start decorating the tops of these. And you can just put them on any way you want, or you can make a fun design with them. Um, whatever you want to do. You can make like a flower type design or Jack likes to just throw them on and that's fine too. You can even take some of your granola and sprinkle some of the granola on too. So you'll have granola on the top and the bottom. And you just want to make sure that you push the fruit and the granola in so that when you freeze it, it uh, stays in the yogurt. So we can put the granola on here. And you can see that we did all kinds of different designs. We used up our fruit, and we put some granola on some of them, and got creative and put that on top. Now, you just want to put it in the freezer for about an hour and a half and through the magic of videography, we have some here already. These are some that Jack and I made earlier today and you can see that this is how they look. It's got the granola on the bottom and the yogurt and then the fruit on the top. Try one, Jack. Try that one. How's it taste? Good. Good. All right. Good. All right. So again, real simple and easy to make. You probably have these ingredients already in your house, and um, 
you can be as creative with them as you want. So I hope you have fun making these and I hope to see you on the farm soon. Thanks for watching.